And who was here Tuesday? So remember, we're just going jab for jab, okay? I'm going to throw a jab at her. She's going to just make it miss. She's going to throw a jab at me. I'm going to make it miss. I jab back at her. She jabs at me. I jab at her. She jabs at me. I jab. You guys see what we're doing? Back and forth. Continuous, start slow. So we'll start nice and slow because I need to give her, or especially if my partner's brand new or newer, time to learn how to read the punch coming and then time to figure out where your head's supposed to go. And then it's gonna get easier and you can pick up the speed. Start slow, but after a while, I want you guys moving a little bit quicker, a little more realistically. Again, so we're gonna start slow. I'm gonna jab at her, she just catches it. I'll do the same. I jab, she jabs. I jab, she jabs. I jab, she jabs. I jab, she jabs. You guys get it? On two, one, two. Ryan, do me a favor real quick. Hit pause on that. Hey, uh, hit pause for me. Time, bring it in. Look, let me speak on something. We talked about it Tuesday, but we gotta re-go over it. Again, we're gonna have to do a lot of the things we're doing, guys, on repeat for a while. Does that make sense? But, come here. So you guys are doing a good job, throw a punch. Look, I slip it, but you guys are moving backwards. That's cool, the punch didn't land, but what can't I do back there from anymore? I can't counter punch. So part of this is learning, throw a punch at me, stay right here where I can do what to her, throw another one. Where I can do what to her, another one. Where I can counter her, another one. You see what I can do from right here? So don't throw a punch, don't do this all the time. Throw it again, or do this. You're putting yourself in the bad spot. Plant your feet and just let your head and your hips do all the work here. Does that make sense? And then you're in the perfect spot to do what every time? Okay, so work on planting your feet too. Backing up's not wrong, but if you wanna to learn to be a counter puncher, you gotta be a little bit braver and plant your feet. Okay? One, two. Is that as fast as you can throw the jab? Is that the best jab you can throw? I need you throwing the fastest, best jab you can at him every time. And trying to perfect your jab, and you need to be doing the same thing for him. I'm looking over and I'm seeing lazy, slow punches. You guys wanna get faster? You gotta start doing things fucking faster. Okay? Everybody time, bring it in real quick. One more time, bring it in. Um, let me use you two. You guys are a great example here. I'm going to say something before you start. Again, there's, I want to see you guys getting to the point where everybody's training at a realistic speed. Okay. And remember, every drill we do, it's a double-sided drill. That means the jabber's working on doing what? Throwing the perfect what? Every time. The guy on defense, girl on defense, is working on keeping their eyes open, keeping good balance, and being in a good place. But if the person throwing the punch is being lazy and not working on their part of the drill, it makes the other person's job harder. So go ahead, run the drill, start slow, and then watch how they're going to pick it up gradually. You guys see what we're doing here, right? So we went from practice speed to picking it up to game speed. So let me see everybody pick it up, start moving faster, or do you want to stay slow forever? You can't get faster unless you put that shit in your mind and start working on it. Go to work, one, two. Come on, fuckers, faster. Let's go, faster. Y'all are slow. Yeah, you got to train for speed. Yeah, train for it, guys, train for it. There we go. Hold your ground, HB. Hold your ground. Don't move. Hold your ground. Don't look away. Eyes on him. Hold your ground. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. HB, I see you starting to not give a fuck anymore about getting hit. This is the perfect drill. You're going to get glazed, you're going to get hit, but you realize doing shit like this, it doesn't hurt as bad as we thought. Especially if it's just glancing off as you're moving. All right, time, bring it in before we go to our next drill. Bring it in, everybody bring it in, okay? I want you guys to start getting in the habit of moving your head after you punch no matter what. 
if your opponent's throwing a punch or not. So if you jab, your head moves. You see what I'm saying? I'm just moving it from where it was. Get used to moving your head after you punch. Not just before, after. You're going to set yourself in a place where you can counter, you can off balance them, you can do a lot of good stuff just by moving your head after you do what? Throw a punch, okay? So get in the habit of moving your head after. All right, Denise, who was here uh, last week, this week? Come here. I'm going even numbers up top. She's going jab to the body. One, one, two. She's throwing the jab to my body. If I say three, two, three, she's going to throw the cross to my body, okay? So we're using smoke up top. I'm going to call out a couple punches to draw what here? A high guard. What does that open up? The body. What do we want to hit and hit early and often? The body. Okay, so she's going to throw one, two, three. Freeze on the three. Look, her free hand comes right downstairs. Bam. Right to my body, okay? If I say one, two, she knows she's going to jab my body. Bam. And look at how she's stabbing that in. Make sure you make that jab to the body or the body shot count. She's drawing the high guard and then she's going to stab. Go one, two, three. Sorry. Bam, bam, bam. She's going to stab. She goes one, two. She's going to stab that jab. Ah. She's trying to stab a hole in me. Wear the gas tank down. You want to start punching a hole in it. Go to work. One, two. Hurry up. Come on. Let's do this. Ten minutes. We're going to spar. No, back and forth. Everything. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Nice, HB. You want to see one of my favorite little tools? Pick up your hands. Look, I go at it like that and then bam. See how I faint it up hot? See that little? And then boom, I stab low. I get people with that all the time. It's just a, and I sell it with my gloves and my eyes. See the lift? And then you lift and I stab. Try that out next time you go. You're going to get that on fucking everybody. Or you can do the same thing here. Look. It's just a quick, like, blinder. I'll go up high, down low, yes. and I'll do the opposite over here. I want you to go up high and then stab the jab. Now throw the right hand behind that. So you want to fake this here, and then look. Okay, so you want to fake this. Boom. See, I made my guard go retarded. I had to look at two or three different things, and back. Now, Steve, you're throwing the jab to the body and you're going backwards. See it? Your weight's going there. Look at me. I'm going back. In. Don't go backwards. See how you're pulling backwards? Step in. Um, when you're becoming a pad holder and you're holding pads, especially for my noobs, elbows are in. I'm in a boxing stance. I'm working on my stance. I'm seeing you guys are out here like you're holding a field goal, like you're a referee, like someone scored a touchdown. My elbow's got to be in. I'm in a fighting stance here. I'm making them throw the jab and the cross right here. Elbows are in in this, in this mid stance. I don't want to see you guys doing this, holding mitts. It's going to create bad habits for you, and it's going to create bad habits for them. You're working on your stance while you're holding pads from now on. Where are my elbows? In as a pad holder. When I see this, guys, it's, yeah, let's just fix it. Let's just say that. Okay? On two, get water. We're going to spar. Go. I never said two, though, but. <laughs> let's go. Fucking go. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. 15 seconds. My boy's down, though, huh? These fools are down as fuck. Five seconds. What? Hey, way to fucking go, dude. Give me some real quick. God damn it. Fucking, that's all heart right there. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. Hey, look, real quick. Listen to me. Survive. Don't quit. Don't give up. Stay in. If you sit out, you're not going to learn how to survive. You can't win every fucking round. You have to learn how to survive. Do you understand? Survive. Go to work. Grab somebody. Survive. Go. Fucking survive. Let's go. Let's talk real quick. Bring it in, y'all. I think that might have been our best class we've had in a while right there. What do I mean by that? I mean, everybody was in here and we're all championship minded, man. Everybody was pushing, giving it all they have. Remember, look around the room real quick. Stand up. Stand up. I want you to die on your feet. Look around this fucking room. It's up to you guys to build the culture in here. That means when I say get water or get your gloves on and it takes you 10 fucking minutes, what's that telling the new guy? It's okay to do what in here? Bullshit and fuck around. Is that the kind of culture you want to build in your gym? No, yes or no? no so I need you guys from now on to hustle. When I say get your shit, you wet your mouth, your gloves are on, you're ready. We're not wasting a moment from now on because we got something we're trying to build. And you guys are the ones who are going to set the culture. Do you understand? Yes, 
I'll see you guys on two, one, two. Fuck, that was awesome, dude. Good shit, bro. I'm glad you're back, dude. Fuck. You know what I'm saying, though, my boy? God damn it, I'm proud of you, motherfucker. Oh. Shoo. We got it today, huh? Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Now, we're building some fighters in this bitch. We're building some fighters, no doubt, huh? <laughs>